Hi guys, Daniel Mumby here from Mumby at the Movies. Uh, this is just a little vlog to give you an idea of what's going to be coming up on the site in the early stages of uh, 2013. And a little thanks on my part to everyone who supported me in uh, 2012. Uh, the more observant among you who've been following my stuff for some time may have noticed this microphone behind me and this desk of shiny buttons. That's because I'm shooting this little vlog, uh, not in my home where I write all my reviews, but in the Phonic FM studios, which are in the basement of the Exeter Phoenix. This is the community radio station I do the Tuesday morning breakfast show, Good Morning with Mum Beyond. And uh, this afternoon, in about ooh, half an hour's time, I'm doing another edition of In the Mood for Mumby, which is the more kind of arty, freeform, uh, like I say, alternate Sunday program, bouncy chair. Uh, I'll give you details of how you can listen to those and how you can like the Facebook page at the end of this video because uh, we're not primarily talking about radio here, although there is a radio themed bit coming in at the end. But first off, um, big thanks to everyone who has supported the site and visited the site during 2012. It's astounded me how many people are interested in the things I have to say. It's astounded me even more how complimentary people have been, even when they've given me criticism. Big thanks to Thomas Wales, my great mate for um, basically revamping the site. He is much better at writing HTML than I could ever hope to be. It looks fantastic. Uh, so big props to you, Tom. Hope to see you very soon. So what can you expect from me in the early part of 2013? Uh, first of all, if I don't get it done before New Year's Eve is out, uh, so in the next 36 hours, we will have the 100th review for you, the 100th review I've done on this site. Um, I'm not going to say very much about it, other than it's a Christmas film. And partly I'm not saying much because I want it to be a surprise. It's the 100th review. It deserves to be a little special. But also, I'm saying it's a Christmas film because I, I want to sort of get in early of people saying, well, why couldn't you do this sooner? Christmas is gone. If I can't do it before New Year's Eve, take it as next year's early Christmas film recommendation. So I think I'm off the hook a little bit with that one, just because I work as fast as I can, but no promises. Um, so once we get to the 100th review, uh, I'm aiming as a rough guide to see about 100 films over the course of the next year, including a few more cinema trips than I managed this year, uh, just as a result of moving house twice, there's less free days to do stuff, that and I'm now working full time, which is fantastic, um, but, you know, takes more hours of free time out of the day, not that I'm remotely ungrateful to have a full time job, it's you know, very difficult. Um, so you'll get a lot of reviews about the current rate of seven or eight a month. I will up it if I can, but you know, these things take time to quote Smiths. Uh, you will also get the regular features of the blog spot, which is uh, on the third, the 13th of every month. Get my words in the right order. Uh, I have trouble doing that on the radio, let alone video. Um, in which I'll still be alternating between uh, professional reviewing sites like Best for Film and That Guy with the Glasses and amateur reviews. One of the professional ones will be a look at Radio Dead Air and the work of Nash Bozart, who I'm a big fan of. If you ever get the chance, look him up on blip.tv, Radio Dead Air, or visit radiodeadair.com. Great stuff, you won't be disappointed. Um, you will also get bi-monthly updates on my trudging through the IMDb Top 250. I really do need to get a move on with that a little bit. Uh, it's not entirely my fault, because some of the newer films that I see then slip out of the list or come back in, so... But I do need to see a few more over the coming months, so I'll make an effort with that. And you will also get still the occasional What Culture article from me. I've had to just reduce the amount of contributions I make to the site, uh, just because those articles tend to take a little more time. Um, I'm currently working in the very early stages on a piece for them on the 100 greatest villains of all time, screen villains primarily. There might be a few TV choices in there if I run out of inspiration. Um, that will probably be along sometime in January, you know, pending anything else that gets in the way. Uh, so you've got that to look forward to. But there are a couple of little things that are going to be happening on the blog starting in the next couple of weeks, um, which I'd like to tell you about now. The first is uh, there's going to be a few more retrospectives happening over the next few months. Um, I really enjoyed going back to all the Star Wars reviews. Yes, the prequels were incredibly painful, but the reviews of them, doing the reviews, was very cathartic and uh, got a lot of deep-seated emotion out there, so I don't have to watch those horrible, horrible films ever again. Um, it's a good thing I now have Flash Gordon on DVD, so if the worst comes to the worst, I will go back to that. Uh, so, in January, 
I am planning to start uh, going through the Indiana Jones reviews, doing original reviews of the original trilogy, and then probably reposting my review of Crystal Skull, maybe with a few alterations. I don't think I'll be able to get hold of another copy on DVD in time, just because I've got so much stuff backing up in my DVD collection that I need to work through. Uh, but if I do get the chance, or if I catch it on TV between now and, say, February, then I will update my review a little bit, just so you're not shortchanged. Uh, what else? Uh, you will also get uh, retrospectives at some point uh, of the Back to the Future trilogy, uh, the Beverly Hills Cop films, and uh, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man films, along with anything else that comes my way. Um, yeah, we'll just play the rest by ear, and again, there's no real time scale with those, only I aim to have Indiana Jones done at the latest by the beginning of March, so uh, you can hold me to that. More importantly, uh, there's a new section on the blog, starting from this coming Friday, the first Friday in January, called From the Archives, in which uh, it is radio-related, which so it makes sense that I'm shooting in here. Careful of the very expensive microphone. Um... Basically, I'm giving you guys a chance to listen to some of the things that I did when I was on student radio at Warwick University in 2008-9, to those heady days. Um, basically, every Friday, uh, I'll be posting up a new episode on YouTube of the comedy series that I helped to create with Tom Wales, whom I talked about at the start of this video, called The Yesterday Show, which was kind of, you know, a whimsical, absurdist Two parts Goon Show, one part Radio 4, and one part just strange. Um, so you'll get a different episode of that each, each week. That's two series of eight episodes, so 16 weeks. After that, I'll also be posting up the three uh, spin-offs from it called The Adventures of Battenberg and Schneps. The third of which, almost no one has heard. Uh, the first two we managed to broadcast on Raw before we left, Raw being Radio Warwick. Uh, but the third one was recorded with the intention of airing it on Lionheart Radio, where I uh, used to broadcast and worked for many months, but that never came about for various reasons that aren't important right now. Uh, so, aside from a few people whom I gave copies of that series to as like a personal private gift, you guys are going to be the very first to hear the third and final Battenberg and Schnepp. So, consider yourselves very fortunate, and considering it a uh, kind of late, very late Christmas present to you, because by the time we get to that, it'll be end of May, beginning of June. Uh, so it's worth hanging around for. I don't know whether you'll be able to download those as MP3s, because like I say, I'll be posting them up as YouTube videos, probably with a little piece to camera uh, taking you through any interesting notes about the characters, how they came about, or anything that happened during the writing process which was funny or significant or anything like that. Uh, just to give you guys who aren't familiar with radio a chance to see what goes on behind the scenes. Um, like I say, if there is sufficient demand, I will try and find a way that you can download them and keep them as MP3. So by all means, keep uh, keep me informed via the comments, either on the YouTube channel or um, which I'll be linking to uh, with the introductory video to the series, which will be up in a few days, and um, or by commenting here on the blog or send me a tweet, Monday at Movies. So that's basically it. You've got a lot to look forward to in the coming year. Um, thank you very much for sticking around. If there's any Thing about the blog that you think could be improved, if there's anything about um, the site that I should be including. If you want me to do more vlogs like this, if this is the kind of stuff you like rather than reading very long written reviews with a few photographs in, um, then by all means drop me a comment and uh, I'll take your suggestions on board. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for supporting me throughout uh, 2012. Here's to a very successful 2013 and uh, Happy New Year.